This is Chip with Golf Simulator site again. In our last video, we talked about the features and the trio tracking technology of OpiShot's new launch monitor, the ball flight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the golf course play and some of the options that you can do. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, screen here. And uh, this is basically the main menu. And you can see all the different courses that you can play right now. Uh, there's a couple of European courses, uh, London Heritage, International Black Mountain, Firestone, very popular course, Pebble Beach, and uh, Spanish Bay and Spyglass. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a course here. I'm going to pick Pebble Beach. And uh, in addition to the golf courses, there's a closest to the pin contest. Uh, there's an arcade mode where you can do a long drive and some targets. Obviously, you can practice at a driving range, and then uh, they're coming out with some online play here down the road. The cool thing is once you buy the unit, any new course that they come out with in the future um, is automatically available to all of the Yachty Shop All Flight owners, so you can uh, download that. So here we are at the second menu, and basically it'll tell you which tee box you want to play, pro, men's, or women, whether you're left hand or right hand, and uh, you can do stroke play or match play. And the cool thing is you can actually do up to eight players. So unlike outside, you can uh, have eight players in the same group. I'm going to go ahead and put it down to one. And uh, another cool feature is, is we've got some uh, gimme, gimme features on the putting green. So you can do a gimme at 3 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, or you can do like a maximum of two putts. So that way you're not spending all your time putting, you're actually uh, hitting, your, uh, hitting your full shots. And uh, weather conditions, uh, you can go to sea level and cold, or you can go up to uh, you know, higher altitude or warm. Uh, of course, this affects how, the, uh, how far the ball travels. And then you also have uh, green speed. And you click your next button, and here's the cool thing is you can actually play all 18 holes. You can play the back nine, the front nine, all the part threes. So we're going to go ahead and clear this, and we're going to pick the, uh, the world famous number seven here, and we're going to click play. And this will load up here. And the cool feature is it'll do a um, it'll do a flyby. Tell you exactly where the target is. And we can just click that button. Take us back to the tee box. So it looks like we're 102 yards, 25.7 yards downhill. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a pitching wedge here. And again, we just want to get the ball in the little circle here so the light turns green. And it looks like we're all set to go downhill. Let's hope I don't put it in the ocean. Ah, look at that. First try. So again, really cool feature. Shows my actual club video of the ball of the club hitting the ball. Gives you all the uh, the club data, smash factor, distance to the hole. So it looks like I'm uh, 4.1 yards left to the hole. So we're going to go ahead and putt this one out. And again, we're just going to go ahead and line the ball up after we click this little get out of that screen there. And once you get on the green, the cool feature is is that. Uh, it's got some little uh, lines, little arrows going left and right, so it kind of tells you this might break a little bit right to left. So you kind of have to, you can actually move the direction of it. And it's actually a flat putt. It says zero feet downhill. So I'm going to come up here and just kind of nudge it down there. And I nudged it way too hard. <laughs> I'm not used to these fast greens, so it gives me a par, but. That kind of gives you a general idea how the course play is. For more information, go to golfsimulatorsite.com. Thanks.